I heard I heard something yeah. and with all due respect I'm saying things that are true. Okay, so suddenly I don't feel very good. Okay. <clears throat> can I just, can I go outside? Yeah. Hi, my name is Lava. And I'm Wendy. Today we're here to investigate the paranormal. Do you believe in ghosts? Not really, maybe after tonight. I've been investigating the paranormal for the past four years. And I used to be a skeptic until I met one paranormal entity myself in my own room, in my own house. So today I will be bringing two surveys to investigate the paranormal and hoping to find evidence that leads to the afterlife. I'm kind of scared though. Yeah. Stay tuned to see what's creeping behind us. We have each other, and that's all we have. My heart is palpitating, but I guess that's a good thing. And this used to be a library, I think, or some shit. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, so this building that we are in right now, okay, is a World War II bunker. Over the years, I, when I came here to investigate, each time I have results. And so, right now, what I'm holding here, okay, this one is an electromagnetic field detector. So it's actually used to detect entities that can give off energies like ENF energies. And so we use this to investigate. Maybe you want to ask a question like, um, are you guys still fighting a war right now? So okay. you can ask something that's related to the history of this place. Okay, can. Yeah. So okay. I'm just wondering if, are you guys still with us around here? Um, do you know that the war is over? Are you guys still fighting in a war? I do respect you guys, so if you guys are around here, you guys can show some kind of response. So when we are in the building and they say that, hey, this place is haunted, right? It might not be that the whole place is haunted. It might just be a, f a certain spot, a certain area. Maybe right here is just one bar. You know what I mean? Yeah, so we can proceed to other place. I've never really understood what people meant by butterflies in their stomach until now. Okay, this room behind me, right? Okay, it's, uh, it's a dorm. This place right here is the, I would say it's the hotspot of the area. Of the whole location right here. This is where they come and go, really. Okay, I'm just feeling really nervous right now because of what he said. So right now we are in this room. This beautiful door right here. This is the portal. Right now I want to introduce this device called the spirit box. Okay. Okay, so if I own it. This sound is what we call a white noise. So you got this sound, right? It can detect audio frequencies in the air mm -hmm. and then it will try to make up a specific word. Okay. Okay, so you can ask a question. Okay, just wanted to ask how many of you guys are with here with us right now? I, I think I heard a nine something. I do. You heard a nine? I heard. Yeah. So okay. I heard I heard something. Yeah. And with all due respect, I'm saying things that are true. Maybe you want to ask them where are they standing right right now? Is it behind you, beside me, or beside Wendy or question like that? Yeah, you can try to ask. Is there anyone standing behind Wendy? I think I heard something. I heard something? Mm. I heard this. Yeah. It seems that uh, I think the entity, they really like Wendy. Can I know any of the names here? What is your name? Okay, maybe the questions are too personal. Sorry, can you repeat your answer? This location right here is sort of connected with Wendy. That's why you're the one that has the most response from them. I have one more location that we can, we can try. Is it like higher bar?
is equal this is a red string it's a very Chinese type of ritual you know they always say that you can use red string to communicate with the spirits and everything like that there must be eight candles okay one two three four five six seven eight if I'm not wrong okay uh, maybe they're trying to summon something okay so what happened now is that lava and wedding you both hold these two special top right here okay if you shine it at the floor okay this one is a UV light. It's one of the spectrum that can reach out to them. So I'm planning to do this. Okay, so right here is these two devices here. Okay. And if any of the entity were to touch it or go near it, right, you guys can just see the shadow of the thing. So we will see a shadow moving towards the thing. Uh. Yeah. Best of luck, good luck and Godspeed. <laughs> oh my god, you're leaving us here? Yeah. Remember, just stay calm and uh, you have we just stay want. close to each other. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh my god, he's really not kidding. Show us or give us some kind of response that you are here. Is anyone here with us in this room? Is anyone here trapped, unable to move on? Are we intruding your space? <laughs> Definitely. I heard that. Do you want us to leave? Okay, thank you so much and we will be leaving this space now. It's really creepy with the static response. I believe the response from the static device on the mobile phone. I was very uh, surprised at how comfortable I was. I never thought that I would be in a, an abandoned building that was so creepy looking and I was so intrigued. I was always very um, curious to know what's going to happen. I'm really nervous about the whole expedition. Um, I believe in supernatural and I won't come back again for sure. I think I just needed more today but uh, I would have to say that Sean really did a great job. He got all prepared and yep. Thanks, kudos to him, you yeah, know. Thank you for bringing us through this experience. It's You're welcome. Unforgettable. Till then, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs>